Yes, it's not a game video, you can relax, you can just move away from the dislike button, you know, and just, you know, put your pitchforks down, it's not a review. Jesus, apparently five to six days to wait a review is a century to people. There's a lot of YouTubers that do upload once a month, if that. Stop complaining, God. Yeah, so I have been busy. Uh, besides that, let's play. I've been trying to get Fragrance Story updated, which is a lot of work. You know, get, people have this magical idea that a game just goes, it's, it's a pain in the fucking ass. So I'm hoping to get that out soon. I know I say that, but it's just, it's a lot of damn work. Uh, people fucking complaining about that. It's been a year, I'll tell you what. You you fucking, you, I'll tell you what, you send some guys over to help me, I'll have it out by the end of the year. Promise. I'll, I'll have it out by next month. How's that? Jesus, cut a guy some slack. So, finally... Rant over, okay? Cut a brother some slack. Fuck it, did. We're calm. <laughs> so this is Aquadigio with Senza, released in 2012, and it's one of my favourite aquatics of all time. So this is like an enhanced version of the original. Um, it pretty much beats the original in every way. I'll go into that later in the view. So this came in 2012. It's an Eau de Parfum. Uh, I know there's a Profumo, and there's another one, an Aquadigio Blue or Bluey or something. I've not even seen that. I just saw it on the Armani site. That's the only reason I know it. So I think it came out in 2013. I think. Don't quote me on it. I can't really be fucked googling that shit. But I will have to... Uh, ADG has sends a note. So I need to get those up to tell you the notes. So since we get... I just hope for Grant to actually have something decent on this. So, yeah. Good. The notes are up. So let's have a look at the bottle design. So I have wiped this down a bit. So it is nice and shiny. So... Now, I've Aquadisio, classic bottle, looks pretty much the same as the original, but without the frosted glass. Aquadisio, Giorgio Armani, Ascenza, nice metal panel, Aquadisio, 75ml, Ascenza, Eau de Parfum, and Giorgio Armani lettering on the top. And the cap is magnetic, which is quite cool. Really nice magnetic cap. I actually love that. I um, it adds a bit of class to a fragrance. It just, just looks like a really classy bottle. So, how is the sprayer in this one? How does it spray? Not a bad sprayer at all. Feels really nice when you press it down. Damn good sprayer. So, how's it smell? We're going to start off as usual by looking up the notes. So, the composition begins, I'm using for granted for the source, uh, with luminous tones of cascalone molecule, that, that sounds real natural, which captures the olfactory experience of cold and fresh water, sparkling citrusy bergamot and grapefruit. The heart bears floral and aromatic accords of jasmine, basil, or basil, whatever part, tomato, tomato, same fucking thing. Um, sage, as well as explosive, boom, floral paradison molecule. Again, that sounds so natural, not made in a lab at all. Um, <laughs> well, the base combines notes of patchouli, cedar, vetiver, ambrooks, ambergris, whale puke, <laughs> pepper, and clary, clary sage, whatever the fuck that is. So, fairly complex. Um, yeah, I probably should do a comparison of notes between this and the original, but fuck that shit. Maybe another day. <laughs> fuck that shit. So, smell-wise, this is just fantastic. Um, this is really kind of like the original, but enhanced. Um, Aquadigio Deluxe version 2. This is really, really good. Smells sexy. Smells rich. Smells good quality, despite all that molecule talk. It really does smell top-notch. I mean, when I close my eyes and smell this, I am not in rainy Glasgow, I am not in the attic room, I am not in this dump, I am on a beach. I am wearing a linen shirt and some linen trousers and some fucking nice Italian shoes. And I have my own yacht. And I have a gold chain and a gold Rolex watch. And I am a wealthy businessman. And it is sunny as fuck. And I have two models sitting on my boat waiting to have a threesome with me after some expensive wine and handmade dinner from my imported chef from France. Because I can afford that shit. Because I'm rich. I wish. So <laughs> that's pretty much what I think of when I think of this. Really, really nice. So performance. How does this one perform? This is one of the best aquatics because it is super fucking beastly. Like three sprays will last all day. This doesn't sit close to the skin. It, isn't, it fucking hovers above the skin. This shit projects a good couple of feet and it gets you fucking noticed. Which is what you want at the end of the day. Me, I wear something for me. I wear 50 sprays of Kubos just to annoy someone, so don't use me as an example. But yeah, um, I know aquatics aren't normally very strong, but this is one of the few that actually kicks some ass and is actually worth the fucking price tag. Wow, what a miracle. It's a goddamn blue moon outside. Oh, I, I need to replace my window. A pig just flew through it. Fuck me. So, you know, 
when it actually lasts. So that's why there hasn't been a summer video, because if you want a summer video from me, just watch last year's, because that's pretty much going to be the same stuff you'll see in this video, because I haven't bought anything new, and I've been waving the same stuff. I've been waving Pute Energy a lot, that's but the only difference. It doesn't really warrant a whole new video, because I'm it's just just watch last year's long-lasting summer sense, and it's, it's going to be the same as this year's, practically. So there's no point in doing our top five and the same fucking thing. Unless what I make in views, which some people do, but I'm not one of them. Uh, okay, this isn't Watch Mojo. I'm kidding. I love Watch Mojo. But, <laughs> so, yeah, how many sprays with this one? I'm going to say three to four sprays, depending on the weather, depending on the situation, depending on what you're waving, blah, 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 the usual routine. You should know this shit by now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, three to four sprays, to be quite honest. I don't know if it's been reformulated. I'm going to regret saying that because I'll constantly get fucking questions about, I tried this and it didn't last this long and that, like, when we all over again, it's going to cause me a fucking headache. But damn, so yeah, I do not know. Please do not ask because I literally do not know. I have no idea. Ask Marty. He normally comments and he'll be able to tell you because most of the time he knows and he should start doing videos on that, I highly think. So please do not ask. I do not know. Do not know. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> Mental breakdown on camera. God, uh, that'll make the papers. <laughs> Fuck me. All I need to do is commit suicide, and that's me. I've get, I'll get fucking canonized. I'm kidding. That is a serious issue. But yeah, performance. This one's really, really good, um, and it, it just works. So let's talk about age group with this one. This is. Um, I know I could use a sort of versatile age group, but this one I'm going to say late teens and upwards. Late teens are sort of the start, and you can wear. Uh, well, you can wear us at 18. You can wear us at 118 if you're lucky to live that old. If you do live that old, you probably are very wealthy, have a decent, healthy lifestyle, and can probably afford this in a heartbeat. In fact, you probably own the damn company. Well done, Giorgio. Um, I don't know if he's dead or alive, and I can't really be fucked googling it. Damn. Um, I'm always a charity guy. But <laughs> kidding. But um, what was I saying next? Fuck. Uh, shit, our age group. In fact, I just completely lost my train of thought. Fantasizing with George Armani and his epic tan. God, I'm jealous. So, <laughs> fuck me. So, yeah, age group's pretty fine with this. So, what does it come to? Yeah, season wise, I keep thinking season situation. Season wise, can you wear this in spring? Yes. Can you wear this in summer? Yes. Can you wear this in autumn? Yes. Can you wear this in winter? Yes. There's not much more to discuss. You can wear it in any damn season. It'll perform well. You just just displays. If it's too cloying, too cloying, yeah, we get it. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, any season, seriously, this will work, really. It works fine, hot summer day, cold day, pushing down, snow, wind, you know. Yeah, this will still perform and get noticed. It's, it's, it's a goddamn miracle juice. This stuff should be locked in a safe and not used again because it will most likely get watered down if it not has not already. But, again, I do not. It's a blank page. If I had it, I would tell you, but I don't know. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. I still have nightmares about it. Land, read alone. No, read alone. It performs well on me. You know, I, what about this? When was it reformed? What's your batch code? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's calm down. Moving on. Situation-wise, can you wear this to work? Yes. Really good for work, especially in an office environment. Clean white shirt, tie, stuff like that. Really good for work. Really clean, really professional. Excellent. Can you wear this on a date? Fuck yes, it will probably get you laid. I'm kidding, a freaking stuff that gets you laid. Your personality, confidence and everything else and maybe the roofies that you snuck in with you will get you laid. But hey, that's rape. But um, <clears throat> it's not really if she enjoys it, but let's not go there. That's never happened to me. I've never woken up handcuffed. Okay, maybe I have once or twice. But it, okay, this isn't Lex's sex advice. Fuck. I love that rhyme. Lex's sex advice. Jesus. I'm in the wrong goddamn industry. Fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Summers presents Lex's range. Duct tape that's the same as regular duct tape, but it's shiny, so it costs five times the price and has my name on it in gold with glitter. <gasps> Fuck. Um, <laughs> handcuffs that have engraved and smell of Kuros. Fluffy ones which are sprayed with Kuros before the package in the box in China. <laughs> damn. Entrepreneur material right there. So, for a date, hell yes. Can you wear this clubbing? Yes, really good. Performs well, smells fresh. You know, it was a really hot day. It's really hot in the club. You're sweaty. You know, if you're wearing a, a scent that can get kind of cloying or something, like this, won't, you won't really have that problem with this one. It's pretty damn fresh, especially in a hot environment. It won't be too 
oh god that stinks you know you know what i mean so yeah really good for that so can you wear this casually fuck yes you can wear this with jeans and t-shirt tracksuit anything you can wear this with god you could wear this with a potato sack around you you could walk buck naked and buck naked and wear this this works with anything it's so damn versatile it's unreal um yeah it's just it's i mean i just love the smell it works with anything so formal wear can you wear this with a suit fuck yes just imagine like scarface like um Tony Montana with a fancy suit on, Miami Vice, that whole thing going on. Um, yeah, works really well with suit. Smells classy, smells sophisticated. I mean, like I said, when I smelled it, I imagined there was that guy in the boat, the rich guy with the tan and the, the linen stuff on and the fancy shoes and the gold watch. And they're like, okay, I'm fantasizing again. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, really, really good for versatility. This is just, I mean, it's just ticking boxes left, right and center. I love this stuff. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. Isn't too cheap, however. It is a bit pricey, but you do get your money's worth, to be quite honest. Really, if you want a scent that will do the job, this is the one. This is worth every fucking penny. Okay? And please don't ask me if it's been reformulated. Please don't. Oh, I should have said that. Now people will ask. God damn it. I'll just delete the comments. Marcus Spam. Big man. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this review. This was Aqua Dijo Essenza. Really good summer scent. I absolutely love it. It ticks a lot of boxes for me. I like strong scents, super strong scents, scents that last all day. And this is everything I want in a scent in one. It's sexy, but it's versatile. It's heavy, but it's light at the same time. You can wear it with a suit. You can wear it with a fucking sack of potatoes. You can wear it with your underwear. You can wear it with your, your leopard print speedos at the beach in Miami with your hard on clearly showing that it's not actually your real dick. It's actually a pair of socks you put down there in the hope of impressing the women. I wouldn't know because I've never done that ever. I've never done that once. Not at all. <sighs> yep. No joke. I'm not lying whatsoever. It's totally not bullshit and I don't think I'm Quagmire from Family Guy. <laughs> Giggity. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Really good review. Uh, really good review. Really good scent. Oh, I'm really picking myself up. Really good review. Um, really good scent. Definitely try it out. It isn't cheap. But if you, you can get it in most stores, so try it out and see what you think. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message. If you don't have a Google Plus account, not only am I jealous of you, but you can contact me on Facebook and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so, as always, guys, thank you for watching and keep on smelling fly. <laughs>